As I've used this program, there's a couple of settings, about five of them, that we're going to change in, in the preferences that I have found by making these tweaks in the preferences. I've really found it to be really effective for captioning. So let's do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Esri Sub and I'm going to go under the About menu and I'm going to hit Preferences. And uh, the first one that I'm going to show you is uh, I'm actually going to go to the interface. And uh, depending on your screen resolution, this may or may not be a setting you want to change. But what I did was I changed the font size for the the editing box to be size 20, and I changed the grid size to size 20. I think the default here. Let me I'll reset the defaults. The defaults are 12 and 13. And I just found this too small. Um, in the screen capture, it looks okay, but when I'm using a really big monitor. Uh, I just found it too small to read. My eyes just aren't that good. So I'm changing these back up to 20. And you just do that by clicking on the, um, and then you hit apply. And then you can see that it increased the size here. And it, you can't see it, but it actually increased the size of the comment What's the uh, in the editing box. The other settings that I change are under the audio. And that is the default timing length. And this is in milliseconds. So 2,000 milliseconds is two seconds. Um, before I change that, I want to change two other ones. This is the lead-in length and the lead-out length. And what those are is uh, there are some really cool buttons that allow you to just just when you hit the button, you hear the last little bit of the of the um, of the audio clip of that segment, or you hear the first little bit of the audio segment. And this gives you the length of those. And I changed these to make them a little longer uh, because it just it took I, I wanted to, I, I needed them to be a little longer. Um, so the first one I'm going to change to uh, 400 milliseconds. So this is the lead out. So when I go to play the last little bit of the clip, it's going to give me 400 uh, milliseconds, which is what? That's like um, almost uh, a little over a third, two, uh, one third of a second long. For the lead in, uh, I just changed it to 300, and that seems to be a setting that works for me. It, the longer you, uh, if you want a little longer lead in, then change it to a higher amount. 1,000 is a full second, so 500 milliseconds would be half a second. Um, and so uh, this is like a third of a second. So that works really well as a lead out, I mean, as a lead in. When you lead out, I like the little extra length. Uh, it helps me acclimate to the audio, and this could be just because I have an audio uh, acquisition issue. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but just making it longer um, is better for me. Now, the the other one is, generally speaking, uh, when you caption, you caption typically in about three second blocks, uh, and so this is now set to a two second block, and so I want to change it to a three second block. And there seems to be a slight little bug in this when uh, if you if I type in three and hit apply and hit save, it doesn't save. So you have to sort of um, let's see if that'll work. Ah, so um, hitting three, typing three seconds, and then typing up and down one uh, will save it. Um, uh, but there's a slight little bug in this, and, and I ended up having to click up a lot. Um, so you can't just type in three seconds or 3,000 milliseconds. You have to type in 3,000 milliseconds, and then click one up, and then one down, and then that, and then save it, and it'll it'll actually hold. But basically, what this means is is the default clip length is three seconds long and that works really really well for capturing so that's the major tip there and so those are the those are the five setting changes that I make um, in the interface for as you sub I suggest you start with those settings that I did and then tweak as you go along